Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about ExpoCAD group sites. ExpoCAD group sites are specifically designed for you, the event and conference organizer, to help you make things happen. If you're an ex currently an ExpoCAD customer, and many of the largest conference and meeting planners are, you'll realize that you're already using a group site by being part of the ExpoCAD users community. The users community that ExpoCAD uses for you to share best practices and, and what you like and how you're making things happen with the ExpoCAD software is built on the group site platform. And it allows you to communicate, share, and network with other ExpoCAD users. We're going to take a moment to talk about how you can leverage this same tool for your own purposes at your own show and your own conference. These three areas, communicate, share, and network, when combined, is what we refer to as social collaboration. This is how groups make things happen. When you're face-to-face -face with the constituents or the members of your group, it's easy to communicate, share, and network. But what about when you can't always be face-to-face? -face? What about those pre-show logistics? And what about continuing the conversation after the show? When you go online to communicate, many folks are using online forums as well as listservs. When you're online and you're sharing, there's lots of collaboration software available. When you want to network online, there's lots of social networks such as Facebook or LinkedIn. Well, what a group site does is it uses the most useful features. We follow a 90% rule. We only include those features that 90% of the users will use 90% of the time. And that is exactly what an ExpoCAD group site offers. The most useful features of communication tools, sharing tools, and networking tools combined in a simple, easy interface. Let's take a look at those features one at a time. As we walk through the top tabs of a typical group site, the first tab is always the summary page. It can be renamed as home or main, and this is where you can say what is most important to my group. It's easily customizable by the group manager. You can have as many managers as you wish, and you need no IT help. This is not about writing code. This is simply about you deciding which pieces of information are most important and you want to feature on your front page. We then have the Communicate tab. Under the Communicate tab are three core features. The first of which are discussion forums. Discussion forums allow your constituents to easily have dialogue with each other in a way where they don't have to all be there at the same time. And they can search the, these conversations and they can contribute as much or as little as they want over time. It's a great way to keep the dialogue going. Pre-show, during the show, and post-show. The second communication tool is a group blog. This blog can be the voice of the group. You can make it so that only managers can post to the blog, or you can open it up and allow all community members to make posts to the community blog. The third communicate feature within a group site is email blasts. You as a manager can easily send email blasts with full HTML links, photos, video, whatever you wish, to your members of your group. You also could open this feature up so that all members of the group can send email blasts if you wish. We then go to the Share tab. There's three core features under the Share tab. The first is an integrated calendar. This calendar allows you to put important events and activities so the whole group can be aware of what's happening and what's coming up. You also have RSVP functionality so people can know if they're coming to an event or they'll be attending an online meeting or conference call. We then have under share a file cabinet. Now this is important for lots of reasons. You can upload PowerPoints, PDF, Word docs. These can be logistics information for pre-show. It can be for, for presenters information and presentations uh, for during and after the show. Uh, the file cabinet is a very important place for you to be able to share and collaborate on ideas. Finally, under share, we have photo galleries. Now, photos are really just files, but they're treated a little differently. You want to be able to have thumbnails and slideshow views, a great way for you to show what's happening, again, before, during, and after your shows. The final core tab is the network tab, and the three features under there start off with member profiles. This is how you can share faces, their, their contact information. You know, it is, it is not as good as being face-to-face. -face. We understand that. But there is something to be said for folks who take the time to put up their real picture and say, here's who I am. Because after all, we are the people. This is the technology. The technology is supposed to be working for us, not vice versa. And we love seeing groups that are actively engaged by members who have taken the time to upload their photos. Now remember, 
These are private password protected groups. This is not just out there on the wild, wild west of the internet. This is your private protected sanctuary. The second feature, uh, in addition to profiles, is we have member objectives. Now, while the group has its own purpose and objective, members can also include their own specific objectives. It may be a personal thing that they're looking for where they need help from other members. It may be uh, a statement of, here's what I'm hoping to get out of the group, or here's what I'm hoping to contribute to the group. It's a great way for them to personalize their involvement within the group site. Finally, we have key connections. Now, key connections as a way for group members to share contacts or resources that they have outside of the group without necessarily divulging their entire Rolodex. We don't necessarily think that's how the world works. Uh, we do allow you to uh, share the strength of your relationship, the role that that person has within his or her organization, and the organization that they belong to. But that's it. We're not sharing phone numbers. We're not sharing specific names. If you're looking to do business with company XYZ or make contact, you can search. We have a search field on every page of a group site. It would show you that this person has a connection with someone at company XYZ, and you could reach out to them through a private message and say, hey, I see you have a connection. I would love to make contact. Here's the reason. And then they can make a decision as to whether or not they'll make that introduction for you. Next, we have a tab that all users have access to, which is the My Settings tab. This is how you easily can update your information, including your profile. We have both a professional profile as well as a social profile. You can decide to show only your professional profile and not your social, social profile. You can share as much or as little as you want based on the purpose of the group and the level of trust that you've developed amongst the members of the group. If you are a manager of a group site, you have an extra tab called the Manager tab. It's not a separate application. It's baked into the group site, and it's how you can easily control the permission settings, who can do what within a group site, the visibility. Is it a public group? Is it a private group? Uh, it's very easy to do, self-explanatory, and it's all controlled under the Manager tab. The Manager tab allows you to customize options like the look and feel and your own branding and image. You can do anything you want with a group site. It's kind of like building with Legos. Uh, you can build anything you want, but there's a structure as to how they fit together. You'll notice that all group sites will have the same navigation structure. And this is great, especially when you start using group sites for multiple shows and your, your vendors and exhibitors and, and, and attendees start recognizing the format and the navigation structure of a group site. Group sites work well with email. Now, while group sites are websites for groups and they are a destination on the web, you can get recent activity updates, which are digests of all the activity directly to your email box as frequently as daily. You can say, I never want to get them. The other thing about email is with the discussions. If you subscribe to a discussion, you can get a real-time email for every single reply to that discussion. You may decide that your email inbox is already full and you don't want any more things coming to your inbox. You'd rather just keep it at the group site. Uh, that's fine. It's your decision on a user-by-user -user level. You can decide how you interact and how email is included as part of that experience. Here's a screenshot of an example of one of ExpoCAD's clients who's using a group site for their uh, Apex Expo show. This happened uh, back in March, and it was so successful, they launched another group site for their next show, which was happening in uh, September. Uh, you can see that they're easily customizable. There's a big difference between uh, this one and the second, but the modules are the same. The, the idea of the navigation is the same, and that's what makes uh, group sites very intuitive and easy to use. If you'd like to know more about group sites, please contact your ExpoCAD group site sales team. They're available at 630-896-0058. They'd be happy to set up a demonstration and walk you through all the ins and outs and show you how easy it is to get started to make things happen with an ExpoCAD group site.